In this video, I'm going to be sharing all the secrets to making authentic moi moi elewe, which is moi moi wrapped in, in leaves. The first thing, guys, when making moi moi, you want to use brown beans because it's a lot easier to peel. Secondly, see what I'm doing in this video. You also want to take out uh, this excess because if you leave it in your garbage, it's going to smell like you will not know what is stinking up your house. Anyway, so I have the washed beans and now I have tatashe. Because I am using tatashe, I'm not adding any hot peppers. But if you're using like regular bell peppers that isn't already hot, definitely you want to add some sort of habanero or something. Now I'm going to be blending this again, my favorite blender, Blendtec. Check on my Amazon store if you do not have this blender, it's awesome for blending beans. A good thing to remember, you don't want to add too much water. So I always use as much water as there is beans in the blender. So you don't want your water to be like above the beans. So I put my beans in first and then I add water just to reach the level of the beans. And then, you know, put in my onions and my peppers and then I give it a good blend until everything is smooth. Once that is done, I look at the thickness and then usually I will adjust the water. So I will add more water if needed or just leave it, right? The longer you soak the beans, the more water it absorbs. So the amount of water that you need is really dependent on how long you soaked your beans for. As you can see in this video, I'm actually adjusted the liquid and I'm using the broth um, or the stock from the uh, fish that I actually boiled to use in this video. The batter was too thick, so I added a bit more water. So it's better for you to start with less water than for you to start with too much water. So you can see the consistency here. This is a good consistency for moi moi. Always mix your seasoning with some hot water. Again, you also want to heat up your oil and wait for it to rest. Like you don't want to add in chunky palm oil or chunky vegetable oil. I always heat up my oil and then I leave it to rest before adding it into my batter. And of course this part, the mixing part is extremely important. I'm using a standing mixer. If you do not have one, definitely feel free to use Omorogo as uh, we call it in Nigeria, which is like a, a mixing pin or a mixing spoon or whatever it is. Um, or you can also use like a handheld mixer. Uh, you definitely do not have to use a standing mixer, but I like my mixer because it just makes it easier and then I can go do other things. This is the consistency that you want at the end of the day before you start wrapping your mummy. You can see it's not too thin. In terms of like being watery, it's not too thick. Now, this is how you wrap moi moi. It's not hard, but it requires practice. You want to layer on two leaves and then you want to just roll it into a cone and then you want to tuck in the end just so that you know when you pour something in it it doesn't like run through so again you just need two leaves you want to pour your butter in and then the folding it over doesn't have to be perfect you want to put the first thing in and then just lock the ends it sounds you know visually you can see it right it's not very very difficult but definitely feel free to practice and if you try it the first time and the moi moi is leaking just pour it out and do it again and do it again until you master it um i'm using my trusted steamer the water is already boiling and then i'm just putting that on i typically would steam my moi moi for 45 minutes my mother said you need to steam moi moi for 60 minutes so 45 to 60 minutes is about the time and this is what the end product looks like it is perfection deliciously melty the level of porosity that you want to see is there so it's not too dense and it's not like too porous like it is a crew you can see how melty that looks it is perfection all right guys if you have any questions happy to answer them like and subscribe and let me know other recipes that you want to see bye